Hey guys, it's here only to comment, bringing you full screen let's plays, almost. Never mind. So yeah, we're here with another episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle for Bikini Bottom, blah blah blah. You get what I'm trying to say. You have to open this door from the inside. You told me that last episode, Bubble Buddy. I don't need to learn the same thing over and over again. I'll probably forget it, but by, by the time we actually need it. But whatever must be done. Wait, is there anything over there? I thought so. You can't fool me, steering wheel. I could like make a montage like five years later. Whatever. I said it again. Why do I say that so much? It's like my new catchphrase. It's not like not like I have one before, but you know, just all that. You know, I'll I'll try and get that later, and I'll show you if I can get it. I'm not sure you can get it yet. So kill these two dog things. Over here's the sea needle, which is an optional area in in the uh, downtown Bikini Bottom. But we're not gonna go there yet because I don't really want to. Little trick you can do is you can actually get through this without the sponge ball. Well, you can, but not like that. Don't fail like me, and you'll be good. Okay, take two. Whoa. Wow. This is bad. Sorry, guys. Just, probably should just use the sponge ball, but we gotta show off our... Okay, sponge ball. We're using the sponge ball. Never mind, guys. Let's kill that guy for the third time. Get to the sponge ball, which we should have done a while ago. And roll, 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 roll. Through the... Okay, I can't even do it with the sponge ball. What is wrong with me? Again, no cutting until like I actually find a way to like easy way to cut. Cause as of now, I don't really have a very good way of doing it. So how are you guys been doing? I've been doing good. I've been sp I've been feeling like a new sponge and all that stuff. Watch out for this. Watch out for the dogs. Oh, made it. What now? Over here, you gotta just blow up the Duplicatotron 3000. Maybe you can, no, I'm not gonna try that. Hi, Gary. Ignoring the stuff in the background. Hi, Gary. Meow. Yeah, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. <laughs> Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean? Meow. Hmm. I bet we exit there. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftop, which leads to the lighthouse. Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. And if you got, if you can see, like way back there is another wheel. Meow. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Meow, meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, so that's how you get the wheel. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh oh. More robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! That's impossible! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Thank you for that worthless minute, the worthless minute of text there, Gary, even though I wasn't worthless. You probably needed to know that. But, never mind that. Let's come up with a different catchphrase than whatever. I swear I said that 40 times in that one episode. So over here, you see a bus stop, and you know what that means. It's our final, third and final character, Sandy. Sandy is basically your average platform, not average platformer, but she can like lasso and fly and stuff. Just, she's actually one of my favorite characters in the game. But first we gotta get this wheel. There's another one. That's how Sandy says to Um. You buzz off, Sandy. Okay, I'm not gonna try to make any shortcuts here, just. I just said I'm not gonna try to make any. Okay, whatever. I don't care if I say it anymore. Hang on, let me check the time. Four minutes, I think we can keep on going. So far, we've gotten one wheel. Zero golden spatulas and zero socks. So I'm getting dizzy just 
We're doing pretty good. No, we're not. Uh, this is this is pretty bad, actually. Over here, you can find a shiny object. Not worth it at all. Why do they even go there? But whatever. I said it again. I should put like whatever count, ten or something like that. Over here, I think there's a sock. Is there a sock? No, maybe no. I don't know. Whatever. I said it again. Whatever. I said it again. Okay. Never mind. Sandy can do a chop attack. Because in the show, SpongeBob and Sandy know karate. SpongeBob doesn't get to do karate in this game though, because he's not as good. Okay, by pressing this button, which is different for each version of the game, you can like lasso in Tiki's and enemies. So, which is that? That's pretty interesting. Over here, you can like like swing on these. Which this was one of my favorite things to do when I when I was little or playing this game. Just swing on those things for hours and hours. You can also lasso a robot. It's not like we all knew that before. <laughs> Vibrating controller. I don't know how to turn that off. There's probably a way. Someone comment how to turn that off. Over here. Uh. Kill that duplicatron. 3,000. And go across this giant impassable gap using Sandy's lasso thing of justice. Oh, that was so pro. Get all the shiny objects. Okay, let me check something. Okay, so that's where it goes. Okay. I think you can get a sock around here, yeah. Go over there. Well, not a sock, but this. Destroy the cannon. Come over here, get these few shiny objects, and your next wheel is over there. And just like Sandy says, there's there is another one. Can I get it? No. But we can Oh that was so pro. Land in the box. And go get our first golden spatula of the episode. This is a failure, really. This is the first saving game as well as vibrating controller. 13 spatulas, 7 minutes, I think we're good. Sorry, I gotta hum along to this. I love this song. It's beautiful. Whatever. Bubbles, as always. We know what bubbles do. Hey, Larry, what's shaking? Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That fair antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Actually, that's pretty low, but I guess it is up there. Woo! The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. Larry officially has a deal. Or no deal. No, 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 no. Okay, whatever. So, uh... Over here is a sock you can get if you uh, ground pound, aka foot stomp that button. And also, back to the TV reception thing in SpongeBob. Like a, a couple parts back, I was talking about that Direct TV was canceling SpongeBob. This has become a big thing on Facebook, like I said, with Nubular Gaming. But it's just. It's so ironic that they're even talking about it here. Well, I'm gonna die. Nope, not gonna die. But I will take a leap of faith. Can you get up there? That'd be cool if you could get up there. Oh, I just found the big shortcut. Actually, it's only like one little jump. But we're not. Um. We'll do that later. That was pretty sweet, if you ask me. Shortcuts for the win. 
over here, open up this teleport box, just in case you need it. And I think we just need to switch back to Sandy for now. Pointless jumping, go to the bus stop. Vibrating controller, like that's the third time, fourth time, I don't know, something like that. Just gonna hum along with this because it's so good. Okay, so over here. New robot. I thought this was a kid's game. So you're just throwing people down these little pipes? Chuck? Speaking, yeah, Chuck, he's one of the most annoying enemies in the game. <sighs> Let's play Curse. He is the most annoying enemy in the game, next to uh, Sleepy Time, Slick, Tartar, and a bunch of other ones. As of now, he's the most annoying. He shoots little torpedoes that come to get you, as well as vibrating your controller. Okay, 11 minutes, I think I can get one more song here or miss g love get you okay over here there's another wheel as well as well as vibrating controller again that's going to become a new thing for this let's play i just grabbed inside of nothing cool okay guys i think that's going to be it for this episode if you like this thumbs it up subscribe and all that fancy stuff and real fast, I'm going to see if you can stop the vibrating controller. Vibration mode. Facepalm. Off. Okay. That's going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll get some more done of Downtown Bikini Bottom. And that's about it. See you guys then.